All right, hi everyone. Welcome to another podcast. This is a Hundred X Steps special. We have a student from the Hundred X Steps cohort, and he'll be sharing his journey throughout. He finally is currently working in a remote job. I don't know very well. We'll figure out through the video. Let's get right into it. Usually, remote workers tend to keep their lives to themselves and stay anonymous. Today, whoever we have wants to stay anonymous. I have done a background check and made sure all the things that they're talking about are true. With that, let's get right into it. Hey, Ayush, how's it going? Yeah, it's going good. Uh, where are you currently based out of? Yeah, so I'm based out of Gujarat, and I'm staying at my home right now. Very cool. Does Gujarat have a very big remote work culture? Uh, not actually. We in Ahmedabad, uh, most of the companies are service based. I'm not from Ahmedabad, uh, but we don't have very good product based uh, companies culture, and a lot of remote jobs uh, in Ahmedabad or in Gujarat even. Interesting. Got it. And so let's begin with your journey. When did you graduate from college? Yeah. So I'm 2017 to 2021 batch. So it has been two and a half years uh, since my graduation. It was start with my 12th. Then I had. Uh, Good, uh, good marks in boards, but uh, I was not able to clear J mains. Uh, I missed it by two marks. Uh, in twelfth, uh, my uh, parents paid a lot of fees, but uh, I was not able to make it. It felt very bad. Uh, then uh, joined a college in our state only, uh, based on the boards marks. Uh, it is a tier two point five tier three college. Uh, I'm from IT branch, so there were there were not a lot of uh, on campus placements. Uh, so I did a lot of competitive programming. There were only a few people in my class, uh, so like three four people maximum, and I was uh, best uh, in my class. So we did not had a good culture uh, even about doing coding or anything like that. So typical tier three college. Uh, it was very tough to st- uh, stand apart from them. Uh, so like don't go to parties or whatever don't time don't waste uh, time uh, with them and uh, work on our skills uh, i did not do uh, gsoc or open source or, or anything like that uh, as i was not aware uh, there is a thing called gsoc uh, i tried going for smicpc but uh, uh, like i did not had a good team so i was not able to make it as well uh so finally what happened was uh, 2021 was a uh, covid year right so i prepared well uh, only amazon used to visit our uh, campus from the product based companies a few companies visited uh, which paid around like 8 to 10 lpf maximum uh, i got the first uh, service service based company which paid like 4.5 lpf that was my first job i sat there for one year uh, including internship around one year uh but it was not uh, like learning was not good so i wanted to switch the culture was also not good uh, people did not wanted to upgrade themselves uh, improve their skills uh, work on actual products so the pro- uh, projects we were working on uh, was slightly scripting and uh, uh, product specific things so some other product based companies uh, they uh, give third class work to us and uh, we used to do them so yeah nice. uh, after that uh, there was a hiring boom as uh, all of you might know so i joined a uh, unicorn i i won't name it but uh, it uh, forex my base salary so like from 4.5 lpa to 18 lpa uh, i won't uh, i don't consider uh, like variable joining bonus so just uh, focusing on the base salary uh yeah spent uh like couple of months a little less than one year and after that so let me mention one thing uh first and second job uh which was a unicorn both of them were remote uh mostly due to covid only but uh i was not learning a lot of, uh, a lot in my second job even uh which which was a unicorn because we had so many teams uh in our teams uh, we had a lot of senior people uh so I was not given any uh, design specific tasks, so database design, core, uh, core features, that, that kind of thing. So I wanted to uh, go to a smaller company where I can learn a lot more, uh, own a lot more features, and build uh, features end to end. And uh, after like a couple of months, a uh, little less than one year, I switched to my third company, which is a Bangalore based uh, company. So they had a team of like two, three people only uh, in the backend team. So I'm a backend uh, backend engineer. Uh, So yeah, at that time only, I think around May, June uh, of 2023, I joined your 
cohort, uh, first cohort. And uh, actually, I was a backend developer only in both of my previous jobs. So if we talk about tech specs, uh, Unicorn job, uh, they had a tech stack in Golang. And uh, in my last job, it was uh, Node.js JavaScript backend. Uh, but I did not work on front end side. So yeah. Uh, but so the thing is, after joining your podcast, I still learned a lot of stuff. Uh, I was not that much confident before, beforehand, uh, before like joining your cohort. But uh, the way you teach us uh, in the cohort, so I like reasoning based explanation. So you okay. go step by step. Uh, you explain uh, what was, uh, how we used to do things uh, before. Uh, this thing was introduced. So that React thing, uh, why React was introduced, what was the problem that uh, React Reconciler, uh, it was trying to solve. Uh, we build up array-based, uh, uh, like array-based uh, basic implementation, which, which can mimic React-based, uh, like reconcilers, how they work. So yeah, uh, that's my overall journey uh, for my first three jobs. And then I left my last job and uh, for a couple of months, uh, around five, six months, I worked on, uh, worked on my uh, tech product, me and with uh, with my one other friend. And uh, yeah, uh, after that, I thought like uh, I was not going to make any money because there are a lot of AI products in the market. So I thought, right. why not get a job and then uh, like sharpen my learning, uh, sharpen my skills, and then uh, maybe I can do it on the side. So right now, like just... Uh, like less than one month ago i joined a remote company uh so yeah that's amazing I'm still working on that product on site and uh working on my job got it amazing so let me summarize you went to a th tier three college did you say you had only four yes. people in your batch no no we had a lot of them but uh they were not competent uh, i oh. mean they did not want to go for big leagues they were happy yeah. staying in service-based jobs making three, four LPA. Got it. Okay. So you had four competitive people who wanted to do go big. Yeah. Yeah. You started off at 4.5 LPA. Is that correct? Yes. Yes. Okay. And then 4.5 to 18 was your first transition. I lost you in the middle there. What was your transition after 18? Uh, 18 to uh, 21.6. So like okay. 1.5 per month to 1.8 per month. Got it. Got it. And these were, these were all on-site jobs in Bangalore, pseudo remote because of COVID. Yeah, first and second were uh, remote only and uh, the last third job was uh, Bangalore on site. And then did you leave to pursue startup full time? Yes. That is amazing. Okay, so you were starting up and you were doing the cohort. Uh, I don't want to take too much credit here. Do you think starting up helped you, you know, dive deeper into parts you wouldn't have before and that also helped you in your, you know, getting a remote job? Yeah, actually, uh, what I think the project project based learning as you mentioned yeah. in your videos uh, that is the best way to learn things instead of just uh, going through uh, a lot of tutorials don't get stuck in tutorial hell because uh, you're not going to go any farther uh, you, you are not going to learn a lot of stuff uh, so yeah it was kind of learning from your cohort yeah so it was kind of like that only uh, learn from your cohort uh, then apply on my product so this is the first time I build a front end as well. I did uh, full stack. Uh, so I, I learned it from you and uh, tutorials, not a lot of them, but uh, documentation only and chat GPT is there for you as your mini intern. So <laughs> I've done a bit of DevOps uh, deploying on the servers, uh, backend, front end. Uh, yeah, everything in between. All right. Nice and open AI you. integrations. Uh, yeah, I bit of that as well. Prompt engineering. So, so do you, were you building like a pseudo AI product? Feel free to not tell in case you want to stay anonymous. Uh, yeah, it was kind of a wrapper uh, on OpenAI API. Got it. Yeah, makes a lot of sense. Yeah, wrappers are making a lot of money today. That sounds great. Your current remote job, can you give like a high level of what was your interview process? Okay, so the interview process was really weird. Uh, first of all, how I found this job. So one of the co-founders of the startup, uh, he was in my LinkedIn connection. Uh, so yeah, he posted about a founding engineer role. Uh, they require 10 plus years of experience, but I still messaged uh, the person, uh, the tech tech, uh, tech co-founder. Uh, so yeah, we had a 30 minute intro call. And after that, uh, the next round was 
two hour and 15 uh, minute uh, continuous uh, like technical round we had uh, so like one hour was hands on coding uh, slash pair programming you will not find this uh, problem on internet because uh, it was related to the product they were building so it was kind of a watered down version of the product uh, we are building right now uh, so your fundamentals uh, must be clear uh, you should be able to code and one good thing was uh, I was allowed to do Google searches or uh, chat GPT. Uh, you can search the internet. Uh, so that was really interesting. It was my first interview like that. And after that, uh, we had one hour discussion around the system design of the same system they are building. So I had to design uh, like high level system design. Uh, we discussed metrics around that. So I'm preparing for a lot of things I have read uh multiple books around system design so i was fairly like confident i'll, I'll clear the interview and the last round was a cultural round uh in which uh it was mainly discussed around uh, it was mainly focused around like uh the company vision what they want to build and uh after that it was mainly around my entrepreneurship journey how i started before i built this product uh i tried tried doing product building with uh, three or four different teams, but it did not work out. Then I started this journey with my college friend only. So yeah, yeah they were more, mainly focused around that only. And hands-on programming, uh, I mean, it was very important. Uh, so technical skills plus uh, your empathy and like soft skills, they, it was very important as like, I, I'm a very early stage employee. So it is a seed seed round startup, and uh, I got a big chunk of equity as well. Uh, so that is my main reason to stay here, learn with them, grow with them, and then eventually I want to do something of my own again after maybe two three years. That's amazing. That's super cool. Uh, so you're saying, uh, yeah, interview sounds pretty standard, and uh, uh, the way you reached out also sounds pretty standard uh, in remote jobs. And is this an India-based company or is this based outside of India? Uh, it is based out of uh, California. And it's in the AI space somehow related to that? No, no, it is not in AI space. It is com It is related to data integrations, you can say. Right? Got it. Makes a lot of sense. And do you mind sharing some rough range of figures that you, how did you negotiate and did you have to negotiate? Yeah, so as you mentioned, 40 to 50K is a good number. I asked for 50K and... Uh, the final number I got was around that only. Uh, if you include base plus uh, equity, seed, seed round valuation based equity, then it is around 50K only, but uh, they are going to raise in one year or so, then it will grow a lot. So yeah, it is around 50K only if you include base and uh, uh, equity. Got it. Sounds good. That's amazing. And this is completely remote. You're working from your home in Gujarat. Yeah, yeah. Completely remote. And... Uh, I think this company has the best culture from all four companies I have worked for. Uh, they don't care about the time at, at which you work. Uh, we just have a 30 minute stand up call and that's it. After that, uh, you can do whatever you want, whenever you want. Uh, you can work two hours, you can work 10 hours. Uh, they don't care about it. So, I mean, the autonomy which they give you, uh, it is like one of the most important things uh, for me at least. And yeah, it is super cool. That is amazing. That sounds good. That sounds exactly like my first remote job. Uh, cool. So do you like this lifestyle? You mentioned you want to start up eventually. So you plan to like stay here for a few years, let your equity vest and then you'll start up again? Yeah, yeah, definitely. I want to do my startup uh, eventually. Like I'm currently working on my product. Uh, I had like a three, four hour uh, meeting with my friend today. Uh, it is a weekend. So we are still working on this. But uh, I'm not very hopeful that it will make money, but I'm still doing it for the learning part. Nice. Very cool. Yeah, I think a lot of learning, I mean, my learning eventually initially happened. I learned React like while I was trying to do a startup. So I think this is a decent way to at least increase mm -hmm. your learning curve. So do you have any advice for anyone who's in a full time job in Bangalore, wants to go remote or like get US offers? Yeah, so for the advice part, I have two things to share. First one is focus on your fundamentals like computer science fundamentals try to learn things in which you understand how things are working under the hood for any of the libraries or tools or 
uh, code which you are writing and the second piece of advice is uh, try to surround yourself with uh, better people than you so you can learn from them uh, from their experiences from the uh, seeing what they are doing try to get involved in whatsapp groups for example uh, about system design or software engineering try to be active on linkedin and twitter uh, follow people who are posting uh, useful information uh, maybe if you, are, if you like reading about system design then follow that kind of people and uh, you can also follow newsletters uh, from the popular authors around the topics uh, which interest you in the computer engineering or like system design or uh, anything that you like all right so don't be the smartest person in the room if you're the smartest person in the room you're in the wrong group all right cool man thank you for doing this and sharing your experience wish you all the best for your future endeavors yeah thank you all right